And from eastbound I-70 to northbound 75 is now reopened after an early morning semi-accident. We've also learned that that crash is fatal. Two News reporter Jake Ryle has been following this breaking news all morning. He has the latest. Well, the Ohio State Highway Patrol confirms one person has died from this semi crash. In fact, I want to give you a look behind us. Eastbound 75, uh, 70 ramp to northbound 75 has actually reopened now, so some good news coming from there. However, this is all after a semi truck crash. In fact, you're able to see the black marks there on that barrier wall. OSP tells us the driver of a semi truck was going too fast around this curve, ended up flipping that truck over the barrier. And we, from what we understand now, the truck driver was not wearing a seat belt. Also, that truck driver is a 64 year old man from Dayton, that according to OSP. And OSP is now telling us this all could have been a much different situation. It's a good reminder that people need to be paying attention at all times. And also, in this case, this is a good example of where a safety belt probably would have saved his life. Now, as for a timeline here, I 70 eastbound ramp to northbound 75 has reopened. So, some good news there. I-70 eastbound, though, just past this exit here. They're going to be working throughout the day to try to unload a lot of the semi-truck uh, contents from the back, as well as flipping that semi-truck upright. And as soon as we have more information, as well as any updates on traffic patterns that we might see any changes, we'll be sure to let you know on WDTN.com. For now, reporting in Butler Township, Jake Ryle, 2 News Today, working for you.